Hey everybody, this is Syl for CandleCharts.com Spotlight. Here yeah, I want to talk about some candles and the usefulness and their use and how they can be used as well. Uh, Japanese rice traders were legendary in their own time and they had developed these candles because they pretty much told them a story. Every time they figured out that things were happening, pressure was this way, the force was this way, the sellers were going this way, the buyers were this way, there was indecision, they managed to figure out a, a system coming out as candlestick patterns, essentially, to give them the idea, the story, and the force of what's going on in the market at that time. Uh, so I love these things because they just they tell such a story on every single candle, but also in context and uh, the overall chart patterns as well. So as a case in point example, you're going to see prices moving up here this way. But the candles are actually getting a little bit bigger, but more so you see these upper shadows right here, there and there. Uh, those are some pushback from the bears, from the sellers, as prices were trying to go up. So if that was you or a group of you, of you trying to push through and if there was some pushback, there'd be some wasted energy on your part, ultimately still driving through. Ultimately, you break out of the gates and you bust out and you sprint to the top. So after wasted some energy and you sprint to the top, how much energy do you think you still have if you're going straight uphill in this manner? Just like if you were a runner, a cyclist, no matter what, you would run out of steam despite your best efforts. The bears would have an easy time to sort of take you down somewhat. That was a pretty strong, forceful move, so they're going to only have so much power. In fact, you can see you're kicking and screaming, trying to get more buying power in while they're doing the same thing, pushing you down. So they limit your ability to keep going higher. They push you back a little bit. You manage to, at the same time, push back again based on strength and force, getting you back to a certain place where here again, the bears got to step in despite your best efforts and look at the type of force they were able to place. It's a big red candle. That body of people, that body of psychology was much greater than what was happening before. So that force by itself, single-handedly can start driving prices lower. Again, kicking and screaming, the buyers are trying their best efforts to buy in, but they are not winning the battle, although the battle isn't all that horrible. Notice those candles are not huge in terms of those red bearish candles. The biggest one was really this biggest drop where they finally drop the hammer on you and you start to collapse. Well, again, kicking and screaming, that lower shadow says buyers are trying to step in all along. They've been doing it up here. And they've been doing it here, and they're doing it here again. And they come back with vengeance on that next session, as you can see. They barely allow any selling. They scream on buy, and they just absolutely catapult prices to this point. Now, again, the trend's coming on the downside here. The bears are, had some control of the market at the time. Hence, that's why you see that shadow. But that was a lot of force. The, the body here, again, of that candle can certainly overwhelm the body of people, the body of psychology that was going on in the previous session. So that continues on up through that, just that momentum alone. Drives it higher, drives it higher. And here again, where the bears had resided before, pushing things down, some rejection occurs. That rejection wasn't all that horrible. Take a look at those little candles at the very end on the right-hand side. That's a level of indecision that is uh, there on both sides, but mostly on the bear side. As that lower series of shadows says, the buyers were stepping in once again and just kind of holding things at bay. Simple as that. You could also say and maybe argue based on context that there's a trend already started pushing things up. And so that trend will have some kind of dominance, if you will, to continue driving things forward, especially with that kind of momentum that this candle is providing. And sure enough, that's what happened. So I've advanced the chart a little bit here so you can see, and sure enough, you can see the, the catapulting, the real, the real forceful move through that area where the bears resided. And particularly, you'll see that there was some profit taking that occurred. And how do I know that's the case? Well, you have that kind of a force, and then you have these little candles coming back over here. That's going to be profit taking, ideally, usually many times on lower volume. And you can see they, they bought again. That horizontal blue line is exactly where they essentially broke away and above from. And they came back to retest what was resistance and is now support. And the, the way they go again, they did the same thing again. They started to move higher, a little rejection there again, but really nothing that says very bearish. And they break out again and they continue that sort of trend on the way up further and further and further and further. 
this was probably the first time the Bears really stepped in to essentially identify themselves as trying to place some kind of ex- excess power. But keep in mind, the body of people that are bearish barely overwhelmed the body of bulls and buyers that were present as well. And once again, that trend is far too strong and they continue on up. This is probably now where most of the bears are stepping in with more vigor. And so ideally, you want to learn more about how this works, how it can be useful in your trading every single day. I invite you to candlecharts.com. Take a look at our sites. We have a a proprietary uh, indicator program, if you will, that will be placed on charts, specific charts for specific platforms that will identify specific candle patterns in our vast array of educational material found in the candlechartsacademy.com. And if you have any questions, by all means, get a hold of Paul at candlecharts.com and uh, get everything you have in terms of questions answered there.